Hello and welcome, this is Misha Amy the Crafty Kylock and today I'm doing another edition of Gwilga Gasta or Quick Irish. So this little mini series is to talk about specific words in the Irish language that maybe have to do with magic, folklore, paganism and witchcraft. Today's word is Greenstead. So as you probably know there are two solstices each year. So there are two solstices each year, one on the 21st of June and one on the 21st of December. The summer solstice in June, the winter solstice in December. Greenstad on Sourig is the summer solstice or the solstice of summer and Greenstad on Gira is the solstice of winter. Sour is summer, Gira is winter. So if we break the word Greenstad down into two words, we have green meaning sun and stod meaning stop. You might have seen on one of my previous videos, which I will link above here, um, that I went to the Gaeltacht in recent months and in the Gaeltacht, the stop signs on the road are all saying stod. They're all in Gaeilge, um, in Irish, which you know you would expect in the Gaeltacht. So the word green stod means sun stop or stopping of the sun. Why this would have been the case is in previous times when we were looking at the sun through the naked eye, if you do look at the sun through the naked eye throughout the year, you can see when the sun is rising and the sun is setting, it gradually over time moves across the horizon and then moves back um, between the summer solstice and winter solstice and then the winter solstice and the summer solstice. So as you're seeing this happen, when it gets to the solstice, it actually stops on the horizon or it appears to stop on the horizon to the naked eye. It looks like it doesn't move any further left or right, depending or east or west, depending on what way you're looking at it. So the sun appears to stop for a period of three days around the solstice period. So we have in Irish the word green stud. Now I did a little bit more digging into the word green stud and in Irish and it actually doesn't appear in EDIL, which is the Electronic Dictionary of the Irish Language, which is an online dictionary that I have used in previous videos and I may do a specific video about in the coming months. Essentially, it is a fantastic resource that compiles a lot of different manuscripts and lots of different evolutions of the Irish language into a very easy to use for the most part online searchable dictionary and it will give you references on where these phrases or similar phrases appeared. Now with Irish language being the oldest vernacular written language of the northern hemisphere or of northern Europe anyway, there have been lots of iterations of the Irish language so we're going back to Old Irish and then into Middle Irish and then into Classical Irish, and New Irish or mo Modern Irish as it is now. There's been a lot of variations in spellings, in verb formation and things like that. So sometimes what you're looking for doesn't immediately come up or you might need to jig around a little bit with the spelling. So it can be tricky sometimes to find what you're looking for on Edil. But generally, if you pop in the English word, you will get the various different spellings in Irish. So instead of being able to find Greenstad for solstice on Edil, I was able to find a different word. And that word was Green Tharasim. Now I'm pronouncing that as if it's modern Irish, but it's very possible it was pronounced completely differently. It is a much older version of the Irish language. But Green Tharasim, seem to be the old word for solstice. When you look at tarism itself, it refers to a couple of different things. So it can refer to the act of sitting down or just simply the act of sitting. It can also be relating to remaining, staying, continuing, delaying. And another meaning for the word tarism is stopping, halting or ceasing or ending. So green tarism would be the ending or stopping of the sun. Now I have no verifiable sources for this. We don't know what people in ancient times believed. We can't 
possibly know that a lot of it is very speculative and with even the most educated guesses, we don't know for certain, but I have read and seen a lot of theories that the solstice in particular, the winter solstice would have been a time where people in ancient times, like over a thousand years ago, may have been looking at this phenomenon and seeing the sun setting and then stopping in a specific point as the end of the sun and that that's why there would have been bonfires at the time and all of this. So while I'm not saying that that was 100% the case and I'm also not saying that wasn't the case, it does make sense or it can make sense to think that yeah, if you were living in those times and you didn't have access to the internet or telescopes or more scientific or technologically advanced information that seeing the sun stop suddenly on the horizon and not move may have been a bit concerning. Just like particularly bad storms or hurricanes may have also been like some kind of divine intervention from the heavens. But that's a bit of a tangent. So the word green terrorism seems to have been the previous word for green stud or solstice. Now in terms of the solstice, and it's a question I see get asked quite regularly online, um, the solstice and traditions in Ireland or Irish culture, and Irish paganism is something I see quite a lot. So many Wiccans and neo-pagans in general will celebrate at the summer solstice will celebrate Litha. So Litha is not an Irish festival, therefore I don't celebrate it, therefore I won't be talking about it. But at this time of year, it's very customary for us to have bonfires in Ireland, specifically on St. John's Eve, which is around the time of the solstice. You will see lots of communities having community bonfires and lighting very, very big fires. We do love a good bonfire in Ireland as well. So we have bonfires at Bealtaine, at Samhain, St. John's Eve or the summer solstice, also at Lunasa. There's another few customs as well that come with St. John's Eve and some of those include on the night of St. John's Day or St. John's Eve, people will put rushes at doors. Rushes, as I would have mentioned in my in bulk video, kind of are signifying liminal spaces. So they're found in bogs, which would be liminal spaces and doors and doorways and windows are also liminal spaces and kind of portal spaces. So the laying of rushes at doors would be customary for St. John's Eve. An account on Dukas.ie from County Cork said that specifically lighting a bonfire in your garden or in your field and lighting it in such a way that the smoke will go across the field of potatoes would help to protect the potatoes against blight. There's also an account from Cullahale and County Tipperary, which talks about festivities at crossroads on St. John's Eve. So there would be festivities, chatting, feasting, parties, playing pitch and toss and dancing at crossroads during St. John's Eve festivities. So while we don't celebrate Litha specifically, there are lots of different traditions and different customs to celebrate the summer solstice in Ireland. And just to recap, Greenstad is the word for solstice and solstice being the stopping of the sun is celebrated twice a year. So I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did enjoy the video or found it interesting in any way, do think about giving it a thumbs up. It helps to boost the video, which helps to boost the channel and also just lets me know that you like the content that I'm doing. If you have any requests or suggestions on future Gaelgagasta words that I could cover, maybe words that you've come across in your own research or in your own reading that you didn't quite understand and you'd like me to do a video on, just let me know in the comments and I'll stick it on the list. I'm just back from holidays and I'm very tired. Fun fact, the word for jet lag in Irish is tersha er hoorish, which means Tiredness of air travel. So, Shine, that is it for the moment. Thank you very much for coming. I will see you soon.